Guys, this is Chris Dixon with Power and Motor Yacht Magazine, and I am here with gentlemen. Introduce yourselves and tell us real quickly about this beautiful burger yacht we're on. Edward Cox, owner. Terry Harris, captain. Jim Peck, first mate. Excellent. So, <laughs> Ed, tell us a little bit about this boat, and then we're going to get Terry to give us a, a quick tour of it. Well, this boat, when I first saw it, just hit me as the most beautiful boat I had ever seen. Uh, needed a, a, a lot of work, mm -hmm. uh, but I was dedicated to do it, and I knew that it was worth it, and it has been. Man, so, just something. Uh, that's my story. Cool. Well, um, Terry, let's let's do a quick walkthrough and and show the folks what we have. And I guess we can start the, the original bar, original bar with yep. the original furniture on the aft deck. And this is original wicker furniture, right? Yes, they came with the boat when it was new. Amazing. Amazing. And this is an aluminum hull boat, right, Terry? Correct. And um, so, for example, so all this is original? Yes. Detail stuff from 1970. 1970. Gotcha. Do you, we know what kind of wood um, it is the Brightwork wood is mostly? Any it's idea? Most teak. Okay. Gotcha. Um, well, yeah, let's take a, let's take a quick right. walk Come around. Run into the wheelhouse. You, why don't we go, we'll let them check it out. You want to go out front first? Sure. Okay. Now we were talking original teak. No, this no, no, is no, no. all replaced teak. teak. It's about two years ago we did the teak decks. Gotcha. Took everything up down to the bare metal, all the insulation up, but everything's new. Everything's new. And all the bright work has been obviously redone. Yes. It's incredible. Very cool touches. Non did it come with non skid on the it on did, the but top we up here? It. Okay. These are the original cushions or old cushions. They may have been not original to the boat, but they've been with this boat forever. Wow. Wow. And the teak work I'd add on this is just incredible. Expansive four deck. Yes. I mean, it really is. It's just spectacular. Jeez. When the paint work we did, the deck house, the mast, the bimini top is new. The bimini top's new. Okay. So and that and that light is the original, right? Yes. And the horns are original, and yes. the and the um. Geez, yeah, that's a, a nut light on this side. And uh -huh. These are the these are the dining lights on it. The supper's on. Right. The captain's on board. Captain's not on board. So cool. Hatch down to the it goes this down to the crew quarters. Crew quarters. Okay. And didn't you tell me that this cap? Can, can this, come off this the whole is a thing? soft hatch they have to they cut it okay you okay. know they cut it so along if you here, need but take the motors out you can you literally can take this off wow it's a lot of work i can imagine but it does come off it's designed as a soft hatch to come apart gotcha door is screened Got this and terrific copper screens. table, copper screens, and then you the, see they got the green patina on them. So cool! They do. They actually have a green yeah, patina green. on them. Wow. This um, and the we were noticing yesterday when I checked the boat out before these just amazing drawers that <clears throat> um, are kind of positively closing. They have a little they have a little notch in them, keep them from flying open. Um, and this is all original to the boat. It's all the original drawings. I have all the, pro, the blueprints. And this is this is the way. This is all new. We just redid this. It's beautiful. We went. Uh, it was a, a, a deep blue, and we changed the color scheme a little bit. I wanted it to be black, along with this cover was a blue, mm -hmm. like black with this. Everything was covered uh, with a vinyl on it, and I took that's the original veneered wood up in here. I took wow. the vinyl off of it and cleaned it up, and I wanted that to be exposed. And then this is, we redid all of this. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that yeah. before. We redid all of that when we took the windows out because that was all rotted. Spectacular. So uh, all the way. And then we redid some of the sills and the mullions were all done right. And how much of how much of the 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 componentry up here was on the boat when you got it and, and what well, decisions were made when, with regards to keeping it? When I got it? involved with the boat, if everything was here except for this, which we put this on, the which Garmin is new screen. Garmin okay. and new uh, autopilot. Okay. The autopilot was here. Permission? Yeah. 
autopilot was here, mm -hmm. but we put a new one on. Okay. And it uh, has bow thrusters. Bow thruster was put on before uh, Ed bought the boat. It's got trim tabs. Uh, of course, this is our power gauges. Mm -hmm. These, all these gauges work. They all work. And they're all analog. They're all original. The this is, and you can probably hear it because it, it should have. It's all pneumatic. Here. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. big compass. Original compass. Spectacular. And this is radar, and all of this equipment still works. Wow. Radios. Runa, this GPS all works. Faruna. That's a yeah. That's a classic Faruna GPS navigator. Yeah right there too it's really it's it's we were talking about this before but like there's some real logic in keeping in, in keeping these analog systems in a lot of way because they're they're easy to work on right they're very I mean, simple they're very simple and very easy this is something that i built we put in here cool because this all these switches were down in a cabinet down here in, okay. a, in an ugly little box so i wanted to make it more accessible so we built this put everything up in here these were this is for all the electronics and how is she in terms of? I mean, and look at our, this, the huge wheel. How is she in terms of? You know, does she? Does she? It, how's she handle? Lack of a better way to put it. It's a displacement hull. She's not a fast boat, but mm -hmm. she's a very sturdy boat. She handles the seas extremely well. I can imagine, and it's aluminum hull, so people know. Yes. Um, and it, not a hard boat to drive. Gotcha. Especially with the with the bow thrusters as well. I would imagine. Yeah, that's kind of cheap. Cheating. <laughs> I grew up in no thrust. You figured out how to get in there. Twin engines make the world really easy. Yeah, for sure. And tell us what, what the motors are on this. These are Detroit diesel, 12V71, normally aspirated two-stroke diesel. Two-stroke diesels, right. And and these were not original to the boat, but they were original, but they were on the boat when it was purchased yeah. by you guys. Yeah, but they were put in about 1980. Because it had blown out, the, it, it one of the caterpillars had blown out. in it, and it blew, one of the engines blew. And one of, and, and, uh, Apparently, the mechanic who installed these motors came by and told you guys today yeah, that he, he had was put on the, the boat today. That's amazing! Wow, yeah. that's just a trip. Um, well, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a little trip below decks and Go right ahead. show me around. Look at this. The detail, the level of detail on this thing is just phenomenal. Boat is a function. It is a everything is designed to work. You know, it's, it, yes, it's very nice, it's, but it's, everything has a purpose. Yes. Rolls Royces are really nice cars, but they're, everything has a purpose, and they're designed for longevity. It's the same way the Same with this boat. Gotcha. Jeez, man. That's a stereo cabinet. This is a stereo cabinet. Cool. And that I would, the, everything is just so solid. So solid. Ed, was this your uh, this was your model here, or was this one you got it? No, that came out of my parents' house. Came out of your parents' house. How cool is that? I'm not, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, have any. Outfits. It sat in my parents' house for years until they got eaten by dust mites. And I took and <laughs> restrung the whole ship. And it kind of started a little bit of a passion for me. I build now the ship models. Oh, that's awesome. But I wanted one on this boat, so I brought this one down. It's down with Velcro, so it won't move. Cool. But it's, uh, this was in my parents' house when I was a little kid. I love it. And the tiling up here, is this marble? Do we know? Yeah, I believe it is. Man, it's beautiful. I can't tell you if that's original or not. The parquet flooring. That is original. Wow. How about the galley here, Terry? What was what was sort of here, well, the, and what did you guys do to everything it? Everything was here when Ed bought the boat. Okay. Um, the stove and everything, it's not that old, mm -hmm. but it's not yeah, that I was gonna new say. either. Okay. But everything works. Jeez. And, that, and this was, were these, this table and this nook was here? This is original, and when, when Ed got the boat, this was, everything was painted white. Mm. So Ed, I took it single. Really? really? Yeah, this I was all? And, I took and <laughs> did all these down and varnished all of these. This is the original upholstery in here. Very These cool. are all embroidered stars. Come on. Yeah. They are embroidered stars. Yes. Wow. And then crew cabin this here. Is the crew cabin. Comfy little crew cabin, actually. Yeah, it's quite comfortable. And yeah. there's a head. Or there's a shower. Or there's a shower. Very cool. And that hatch up on deck is here with a screen oh, so yeah. you can open it at night. Oh, and nice. then this is a head. 
toilets are new. Makes sense. Cool. And down here is the engine room. <clears throat> Either side, the left and right is the new coal generator. Okay. Yeah, there's the Detroit diesel, 12 cylinders, normally aspirated. Everything's actually like really, I mean, you know, pretty easy to get to, it looks like. You I mean, get around them. Get around really it, okay. Can. Yeah? You gotta be under hands and knees, but yeah, everything's pretty accessible. How about ventilation if, if you're working? Fan. Sounds like a big blower to me. It is. Wow. Yeah, great access to your to your filters and everything yeah. too. Jeez. This is the main control panel for the boat. I had this rebuilt, and I put Ed's name on it, and then and the, all the Coast Guard dock number and everything. Mm. The breakers you I was see there. The breakers original. Yes, I, and I have been having a real hard time finding, they're a brand called Navy, mm. and I can't find them anywhere. But I would like to fill the holes. I can dig it. But everything is labeled, everything works. Wow. Cool. Now, living quarters. Well, obviously this is living quarters too, but. Were these chairs original to it, no. Terry? Funny thing about these chairs is there were chairs on here and I said didn't like them. Right. Really? And he says to me, he goes, go get some new chairs. He says, well, what do you want? He goes, I don't care. He says, well, you got to help me out. I don't care. <laughs> and so I sent him pictures. Hey, do you like this one? I don't care. He said, what do you want me to do? Get whatever you want. <laughs> so I kind of knew at that time it was going to be like it was my decision. So my wife picked these out. Really? And Ed these are on, great. Ed, Ed came down the boat and was, oh my God, I love those chairs. They're perfect. They're super comfortable. And I love the way that they rotate Something as smooth as glass. Funny about this boat, this painting. There was no painting here. And there's a painting down by the, in the master by the bedroom <coughs> that's very similar to this. Okay. Same style framing area. My wife and I over in a junk store and found this painting. I paid like 10 bucks for it, but it fits. It matches <laughs> the other painting. I wonder if it was the same artist. <laughs> it could be the boat, the one that came off the boat originally. Wow. We don't know. And now this is super cool. You we, you showed Pullman, me this yesterday. Yeah, this is a Pullman bunk. This goes down and forms a couch. Wow. And here's the washer dryer. Single unit washer dryer, yep. which I imagine gets used a And then lot. you have a privacy curtain. With wood slats. Yes. Damn. So if you sleep in, and now it has air conditioning. It really is. It's like a Pullman car in a train. It's exactly what it it's is. It's like a Pullman That's space why it's in a train. Pullman cabin. Man. Wow. This is your guest cabin. Two singles. Very comfortable. It really is. I love the wallpaper too. This it's, is, we believe that it's original, it's old. Oh yeah, look at that. And the and, and I love these these um over the shoulder lights too. These are original too? I believe so. Wow. They should work as well. Man. We Incredible. Work pretty hard to keep everything working. And you appear to be doing a good job. This is the original grass cloth to the boat. The oh paper. really? Yes. It's in such good shape. Yes. And I'm, and that's that's actually really amazing when you consider how much water damage you I do have one area that's got a little water damage. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a spot back here underneath this port. I do oh, yeah. have paper to fix it. Wow. Problem is, I can't find anybody who is willing to do it. <laughs> no one will come on a boat and do grass cloth. I got really? a guy who did grass cloth in my house. He will not come on a boat. There's your matching painting right there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at the color. Yeah. Of the, it kind of fits. Amazing. It was just meant to be. It was. Seriously. And the fixtures are incredible. Yeah, they are original. Wow. I mean, it's just... Full shower. Let's switch one of the, the light on here. Full shower. 
stainless with an aluminum bottom. Look at this. You know, it's it 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 is it is such a period piece. I mean, the 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 way that it's decorated and and the decor is like straight out of 1970. 1970 yeah, it's just it's unreal. Now this marble here is similar to what's up there, so yeah. we have a pretty good idea that it it probably is. Very cool. What's it? And these are just closet these spaces. Closets. Closets. Oh, look at that. Keep the fishing rods in here. Were the rod holders there originally? No, I put those. That was a good touch. Ed won all of these in a fishing tournament. No way. Yeah. So <laughs> they were just kind of sitting around. Here, yeah. So I put them all in. Excellent. And the dive gear. Yes. Yeah, these drawers and everything are just. I mean, it's just so you can well see crafted. That the woodwork here is all the same as the woodwork up in the main salon mm -hmm. and in the back. It's all similar. These are big storage drawers underneath the underneath the bed too. Is that what that is? Yep, sure enough. Man, it's really it's it's amazing. It's a time capsule. Yeah. And and I mean, it's so to me it's just so cool to be able to to kind of this really puts you in the head in the brain of the people who were designing this boat and kind of what the what the whole like design ethos was at the time and and all the that in the 1970s this boat was designed to be very comfortable very luxurious and very functional and it seems to be all of those things man ed this thing is just really something Thank i you. gotta say yeah the original uh, grass uh, wallpaper i know i love it crazy we were talking about how you know, I, I just mentioned to terry you know one of the things that's that's so interesting to me just almost psychologically is it gives you such an insight into just the way that designers were thinking and what the and what you know a luxury house might have looked like in 1970 even right i had a house that looked like this <laughs> and here, did you see did he show you this yeah the washer yeah it's just yeah, and i mean the, really wow my house that i have now has grass cloth so cool man um Oh, let's go up on the flybridge real quick. Can we do that? Yeah. Cool. Go ahead. These railings. And he has, and I point out, there's a video running on the TV with slideshow. Um, and with with any luck, I'm going to be writing a feature about this boat. So I'll, I'll include some of these photos of yeah, the restoration. Cool. Yeah, let's go check out the flybridge. Oh, awesome. What do you call What'd you have before that? Wow. What a view, best view. Probably in all of Key Largo, all the Florida Keys right now. And here we have Helm Station. thrusters and touchscreen and thralls and are these seats original to it you know terry most likely then we have it's got a really nice l-shaped settee up here you know they're very, yeah they're very period huh yes. and so there you go guys Hope you enjoyed this little tour, Terry. I can't thank you enough for uh, My pleasure. showing us this beauty. And um, hopefully one of these days I'm gonna get to go out on the water on it as well. And you never, uh, <laughs> never know. This is Chris Dixon signing out for Power and Motor Yacht from uh, Key Largo, Florida. And again, Terry, thanks a lot.